make some noise. Got your love, make some Hey, howdy, hello. It's Coachella night one. I'm gonna go get some Chipotle. Uh, this fun live stream event that I've uh, I love to watch over the years, and uh, this year's gonna be no exception, I hope. We got a rainbow, can y'all see that? Awesome, thank you. Yes, we are 15 minutes until the start of the live stream. I don't like to be late even though you can pause it. If you're new here, the channel, we do stuff like this all the time. We love to showcase people in the community, vinyl, music. Oh, we're live. Holy moly, we're live. It was about, there's six live streams. It was so hard to pick. I'm going to start with the Beths on the Sonoma stage. <laughs> we're just going to hop around the live streams, see what happens. I'm, I'm, taco's getting cold. All right. Make some noise, Coachella, for the best. It's my only complaint. It sounded like they took one of these and uh, and stuck it up to the speaker. It sounded like it was mixed fine in the room. It just, some for some reason, live stream feed sounded terrible. Best sounded amazing. Expert in a dying field as the closer, of course. Fantastic. Uh, their opener, same situation with the sound. It really didn't do him justice, so I don't want to shred on them too much, but... Um, what was the name? Last uh, late night drive home. Late night drive home was the name. I finally remembered it. They um, they kind of sounded like that, like they like they made some Spotify uh, <laughs> late night drive playlist. Literally, school young Miko was cool. I switched it on to the first channel when I got in, and it was cool because I got to see beginning of young Miko, and I was getting into it. I was like, I'm just, am I just gonna watch this? Are we just gonna vibe just to the Latino music? Let's let's get it. So Faye Webster starting now. Here we go. This is fun. Yeah, I was watching Faye Webster's stream. I just ha I have to start switching it. I think because it's gonna be it's gonna be making me fall asleep. Amazing, really. You know, two thousands, early two thousands. Wilco, alt Americana stuff going on with the the slide guitar. Really, really clean vocals. She's got that softness. Um, I just didn't remember being that Americana or that. Um, relaxing. So I'm going to need to do something more upbeat. It looks like there's three other ladies who are doing some upbeat stuff, so we'll switch to that. Good stuff. All right. I'm finishing up the Sabrina Carpenter set. And I just wanted to shout out the keyboard. Did y'all see that keyboardist for the Sabrina? I hadn't really uh, really dove into her stuff before. I could see the crossover of uh, the Taylor Swift fans with Sabrina Carpenter. Also, like, what made Billie Eilish so cool when uh, she popped off in, like, 2019, that kind of production. Like, a little bit edgy while still maintaining that pop core. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. What is happening? <laughs> I just tuned to the, the Earth Eater set, and they're just straight up making out. Who was that? Okay. I guess we'll watch Earth Eater. I remember Earth Eater's, like, um, electronic folk. In instrument, I don't, let's watch him back to Earth Eater set. Yes, Grimes instantly is, is what I thought. Obviously, Theory. Definitely more electronic than folk. I, I don't hear anything folk. And a little bit of dance. Great crowd interaction. A fun set. Making out. That's that's the headline there. It's just straight up make out session at Coachella. Okay. Got King Carson. Not to be confused with Bing Carson. I kept thinking he was going to jump up, uh, uh, jump off from the, the thing, but he didn't. Come on. he I mean, he was running up and back the whole stage the whole time. Got to love the energy. Good variety of music so far. This guy, man's not hot as uh, Skepta. Cool. I guess I skipped right over Clooney. Right over, uh, they showed Mall Grab, too, throwing the beats down. Whew, it was intense. It was fun. That's why I love Coachella, too. You can just, you got every vibe, every vibe you want, fast, slow, and medium. I think J Japanese house would be more of a medium vibe. Let's, let's check it out. Not to be confused with Japanese breakfast. This is hilarious. I love that nice vocal, nice reverb. I kind of don't hear my guitar at all. This might be really fun for you guys, watching a bunch of musicians absolutely themselves. <laughs> 
This is more raw than I've seen. play about my guitar, but I kind of need it for this next one. I kind of need my guitar. Come on. <laughs> okay, wait. Then turn the vocal table up, and then we're good to go. La 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 Rolling the next thing. Hey, they're they're running smooth sailing. So several cool acts coming up in a row. Tanashi Carpenter just ended. She played all her hits, and uh, Brittany Howard's on and Narrowhead. It looks like some punky metal band. I have no idea. I've never heard of them, so we'll give them a spin. Is it Nash take off or go? I'll tell you what. One of my complaints about. Like the Beths and some of the earlier artists was um, not having enough sub bass. We got it now. This is some straight up rap on here. Okay, we found a hot one. Now I got to figure out which one it is because it's not in Setlist FM. It's not on the Coachella site where I thought they were posting Setlist. So I have to do some digging. That was like 10 minutes trying to find. I think it's an unreleased song. Sid Sriram, guy can sing, uh, amazing Indian singer, apparently super popular, 10 million monthly listener. It's like some movies he was in, maybe? Not really sure. Fantastic. I was going to say one other thing about Sid. I mean, just uh, just such a cool jam band that were bright and in lock in the pocket with him. Darned if I'd never find that song again. But Chapel Rowan's on. We got some uh, very... Uh, I was trying to think of a good, like, like, Muna, maybe? But super uh, off-the-wall energetic, too. So I'm vibing with it. Oh, they're wearing, all of them say, their shirts say, eat the rich. And then hers says, eat me. But we got some tracks that are rocking. Hold up. I was wrong about the pop. We got a little bit of that rock and roll edge. Like, Joan Jet and the Blackhearts? Cool. Okay. Brittany Howard time. We've been waiting a long time for this. Very excited to see her in the lineup. Uh, wanted to see her live show. Um, she put out one of the best albums of 2024 so far. And I, honestly, probably if I had to pick one today, there's not one that's topped it. Um, What's up? She's seriously just front runner for best at Coachella. D doing a solo, outro solo. It, it, so much dynamics and just cool stuff. Amazing voice. I'm just, you know, I'm glued to this. Also, also the rainbow. That's the rainbow from earlier today. Let's go. The Imperators. So now we're in the outdoor stage. We got to see Deftones. And this is the open. They're all wearing sky blue shirts. Here we go. Be and it Literally watch this be an electro dance band. Indie pop. The sky blue. I'm not saying it couldn't be metal, but... You ready to dance on somebody's heat? I'm ready to dance. I'll do a little dancing. It's much hotter than in France, I must admit. <laughs> They got these like space orbs on their shoulders. Uh, daft Punky. Very soulful. Punky. On the bass. That dude right there. Oh, that's a guitar. Okay, Coachella, we're ready to go again. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Deftones. I'm trying to think the last time we saw them. They're touring ohms. There's the boys. They're all wearing black. Wow, what a con. This is going to be very much a contrast of like 
a beat funk soul to like gothy new metal. <laughs> Is it this? Hey, that's the way my playlists are. I don't know about y'all. Shuffle from every genre imaginable. I'll even be on my phone like people are at the concert to make the experience more lifelike. Oh, that's cool. I just saw uh, Chapel Row on uh, limited double LP on Urban Outfitters pre-order. Cool to watch the vinyl releases pop up. Chino! Yeah, they're gonna do. Uh, they're gonna do that song from Ohms, I think, to start. That's what it sounds like. So there's some cool angles that'll pop up too with the the top down view of the drum kit, Stefan Carpenter's pink guitar. Cool visuals going on. A lot of these bands have amazing visuals behind them. I <laughs> I forgot. I thought of this joke before Def Jones came on. I was gonna say I'm excited for Chino to try to stay on pitch, and we're at change, and we're not exactly on pitch, but we're loving it. The, yeah, not a, he hasn't hit a sing, single note all song, but every, everybody sounded in tunes. Stefan is amazing. I, the basses I don't recognize because I know they had issues with the previous basses or something. Uh, Abe on drums, sl slang. I mean, really good set. Honestly, great songs. They played at least the top five big ones, except Minerva so far. I guess I'll say a couple things about Deftones. It's just, it, it literally is just, his vocals that sit out. I mean, the drum mix was a little weird. In my opinion, their guitar tones sound better in the studio. So, you know, uh, Deftones will be Deftones. Uh, not everything, everything next. Everything always. Injustice. But we got hours to go on that. Everything always is starting right now. So we're going in blind. Didn't expect dance vibes. I don't know why I didn't, but there they were. So going into a little Uzi Vert as we wait on some of the other channels too. I'm curious to see what he does. He did um, uh, he did that system of a down cover. Just some interesting, really weird left left field stuff. Let's have some fun. We're about 40 minutes back from live. We're making good time. I want y'all to act like y'all somewhere else. I'm on. And a good friend of mine, Kit Carson, made this beat. Kit Carson, we just discovered him. The yeah, EXO Tour Live, that was cool. Um, and you know, I forgot how well his vocals are mixed and stuff. I like Uzi, man. It's adorable. Telling us how much he loves us. Okay. Um, we're making good time. We got Lana Del Rey coming up after Peso Pluma. Justice. Uh, Bizarrap, which I'm about to watch on the Sahara channel. And uh, the rest of these on the Sahara channel I've never heard of. Are we halfway? I would say at the halfway point. Pretty good. Several things. Uh, I would say live sound sounds like it's mixed properly there. I'd be curious if anyone who's there chime in on how how well it sounds in person i can say the live stream experience has been really good except for you know some uh, some of the ones like the baths on earlier on this uh, some of the stages everybody's performing really well no complaints there so going in blind on this one coachella make some noise The bass is mixed uh, immaculate. Argentinian. Dubstep house. Tech house. Banker, so loving it. Okay, I thought that was. I was like... Wait a second, who is that? Uh, it's Shakira. I, I thought it was. Very cool that Shakira comes out to support Bizarrap. Bizarrap, millions of monthly listeners, too. Very cool. Very solidly produced. Can't find the exact songs uh, using... Google Shazam, but it, it's what I loved about like old Skrillex and stuff. It's that in Dead Mouse and um, the Greats. I could see why this is deserving of millions of monthly listeners on this one. Is that up? So we bring uh, bring light back. Yeah, we finished Tinashe. Yo, Asabi is coming up. 
when we see the lasers. Stay hydrated out there. No, wait, this is the, is this, um, is this a K-pop group that I was hearing about? This looks sick. J-pop. We just enjoyed Yo Asobi and what was that song title? Taboon. Now put on the headphones because it's 1217 here on the East Coast. So we're going to be up till three or something to catch Lana. Staying up for it. Yo Asobi rocked it with the so many songs that blew me away. I mentioned Pokemon. They said something about they have this narrative novel. Right at the beginning, they were talking about how they have, like, a novel. They're writing, like, Coheed and Cambria style comic strips in Japan. I have no idea. I guess I'll put a link to the song that I like. That I like. Completely in Japanese. So, I... Man, it's cool to find stuff like this. That's why I love Coachella. You can find stuff that you probably wouldn't have found otherwise. Just under your radar. So, we're here for it. Let's see Neil Francis. Bass is filthy. There's just those little embellishments all throughout. Very, very cool. <laughs> Loving it. Peso Plume. I've been listening through several songs to find some of my favorites because I really didn't understand him as an artist just because of the cultural barrier. But I'll tell you what, the musicianship can appreciate. Man, it's really cool to see the horns shine as much as they do in this genre. And, yeah, I was vibing. I'm just enjoying it. So, yeah, now we're moving on to Peggy Goo. Peggy Gow. Some dance beats. DJ. And we're waiting on Lana after Peso. That could be ours. <sighs> so we're looking at Hatsune Miku to follow you, Asobi. Uh, looks like another, like, digital artist band of some kind. No idea. Going into it blind. Having fun. Le learning, just watching. Just watching these amazing performers from around the world. We got our dance on. We just enjoyed uh, a, a band playing Japanese-style <laughs> covers were fantastic. One especially. It was so hard to track it down. Well, Waka... Half the names are in Japanese. Shazam was somewhat helping me. The J-pop world into rock and metal and upbeat dance music. Fun twists and turns that I did not expect. All led by a uh, digital anime girl in the middle of the stage on the screen. And singing every note quantized perfectly. It was fun. And now we're watching Chloe just sample uh, Hey Ya. Listen to Justice. Song. Suki Waterhouse, I've never heard. Just giving that a shot right now. And then the playlist is ready. Check that out if you're wanting the highlights. My highlights, my picks from each artist. Here we go, Suki Waterhouse. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Coachella. We've been making some noise. It's 2.30. Got through Suki Waterhouse. Didn't have a lot of impressions other than that maybe old school radio ballad type song except for the omg song that one was very explosive and colorful i enjoyed that i'm making my way through the sonora stage and narrowhead how did they sound better than deftones even though the live stream was mixed worse than deftones they literally sounded more in lock punkier wilder more fun. And every single song they had was solid. So I'm gonna definitely have to go back and give them a whole spin. And uh, Black Country New Roads coming up. So I'm going all over the place. I'm dancing to justice. We're going back to Black Country New Road without the uh the singer uh, who left the band a year or two ago. Really enjoyed ants from up there. We'll keep an open mind here. Big news, Lana Del Rey is on stage right now. So we Oh, and Anti Up is as cool dance. Dance spot. I'm trying to find some songs from that that I like. Yes. Black Country, New Road. With these amazing art pop and progressive feeling theatrical performances. They do it so with, with so much jazz and pizzazz. I think they do the way they do these cinematic builds is really uh, it's really intriguing. I, they're just a good mixture of like background music mixed with 
music you can really pay attention to the details of, very nuanced. Uh, but now we're going into clown core, and I have no idea what is about. It's a two piece, just like Justice. I'm sorry, what? What is this? This is goofy. This is. Uh, surely there's some context to this I'm missing. I don't know if I can do it, man. It's just like <laughs> pick one annoying sound and then blast some like Dollar General Death Grips sample type thing underneath it. It's just um, it, it's an annoying gimmick. <laughs> it's, it's, it would be funnier if there was like some other comedic aspect to it. Got San Rompe Para. Got great musicianship. That Latino flair. Really dynamic. And catchy. I like seeing them play the instruments. All too. super talented, yeah. I'm I'm vibing with At this. ease. At ease, soldier. And anti up, which uh anti up was pretty good. More cool beats. Definitely in that house techno vein. I'm curious what uh at ease is. I'm liking at ease. Those beats are fire. Really intense. But that's nice uh, nice flow to it. Dynamic Electro. At ease. I'm at ease. Uh, after hearing K-Hot Chili Peppers is the name of the song. Hey, it's really cool. And some of the production on it sounds better than some of these, uh, you know, some of these EDM acts, which are fun. Fun to listen to. Fun remixes, especially if you're there. So uh, it's, it's Lana Del Rey time. We're here. Everybody's here. Sabrina Carpenter's. Coming to the Lana Del Rey shows this season. So I'm going to do some editing, listen to some Lana Del Rey, and chill out, give you my final Looking thoughts. Looking forward to this a lot. We, we have completed Coachella. It's way too late. That was amazing. I like to do this as like a vlog thing, but I know the other two <laughs> will not have the turnaround time and the vlog as much fun as this is to put together. So Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Slay. Uh, fantastic through and through. Lots of incorporations of visuals from the dancers. Huge wall of screen behind her. She played all the hits. Billie Eilish comes out. It, they they complement each other. So John Baptiste collaborated. Jack Antonoff was there. It is just... Yeah, it was a fantastic performance. Did it steal the show from my, my Brittany Howard? Maybe. Maybe. But, you know, uh, bigger stage, more time. I'll have more thoughts, too, at the end about all of my favorites from all of the nights. But, yeah, definitely one of my faves. All right. Younger, less tired me has some thoughts for you. As always, we appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow as we look at day two, hopefully day three. We'll see you back real soon. Keep on grooving your way.